Cape Cast. Who knew there was a furniture manufacturer on Cape Cod? We're here at the West Barnstable Table Company, where a consortium of 14 artisans build tables, end tables, occasional um, tables, cabinets, and other furnishings from antique wood and also from new wood and, and unusual woods like blood wood from South America. Let's go in and see what they're doing. We're here with Dick Cusales at West Barnstable Tables. And Dick, can you tell me a little bit about West Barnstable Table Company? Uh, yes, uh, we started back in 1970 with my partner, Steve Whittlesey. We've been at it all that time, uh, just transforming old wood into useful furniture. Basically, all this wood comes from homes uh, or buildings, I should say, uh, barns, sheds, old pianos. Uh, wagons, it doesn't matter where it comes from as long as it's old wood and has some character. And now you've you've become a consortium of sorts that has different artisans who put their work uh, for sale here? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, I have various people who make furniture also in old wood. Some are uh, apprentices of mine from the past and now have their own studios either in their garages or in their cellars or in their homes and uh, they make furniture for me. My name is Rick Moran. Uh, my, my business is Moran Woodworks. I started in 1975 with a two-man shop. My right-hand man is Scott, Scott Harvey, also from West Barnstable. Most of the lumber I work with is American hardwood, curly maple, bird's eye maple, cherry, walnuts, uh, your traditional um, hardwoods. Uh, we use a lot of figure, a lot of um, curl, tiger. Um, I've got some great bird's eye, and we're looking for lumber that has a lot of character to it. If you really look at them, they have a, a little line through each one, and they look like an eyeball. So they call it bird's eye. It's an anomaly in the wood. This is wood from Hurricane Bob. Uh, it's a tree that fell in the main street of Cohasset, and uh, a local guy on the Cape picked him up and sawed him with his bandsaw mill, and let him sit on the ground too long, and they spalted. And spalting's what all these other colors and little things are. Um, and uh, anyways, it's been reclaimed and it's beautiful wood now. You're making, say, occasional tables all the time, and dining room tables all the time, hutches. Um, does there, is there a tedium to it or, or how do you keep it exciting? The lumber keeps it exciting. Each board is different. No two tables are alike. Uh, I just get excited with the lumber. Uh, when we run a piece of lumber through the joiners, uh, through the planers, it's like opening up a Christmas package, Christmas, mo Christmas morning. E each each gift, each board is so different from the next, and it's it's the character of the lumber that keeps you going. Why is it important to you to use old wood or antique wood as opposed to new lumber? Uh, I like the color and the texture uh, that I find in old wood. Uh, it's got lots of character. It's easy to live with, uh, meaning it's already got some distress in it. Uh, the natural color that comes from antique woods uh, cannot be duplicated in a can of stain. This particular sphere table is uh, just a graduation of the idea of my original uh, orb, flat orb table, where I inlaid it into the uh, table. But uh, I thought I would force it to a point where I'd make them three-dimensional. And the three-dimensional orbs are here permanently. And you live around them and you work around them and it's uh, sort of forcing my art on people to have to live around it. 
and live with it rather. So uh, about nine years ago, um, you had an accident. Basically, you lost a few fingers of your hand. Did that affect um, how you can build furniture? Uh, I thought so at the time. Uh, I thought my world was over with this, but uh, within two months, I was back making furniture. And uh, from that point on, I've uh, overcome my handicap, and uh, it does slow me down in certain areas such as buttoning my right cuff. But uh, otherwise, uh, no, I, I'm, I'm over that. I, I do fine with it. KCAST.